Hi, I'm Rod Harrington and welcome to the William Hill preview of the Grand Slammer Darts in Wolverhampton. This is where both codes go head to head, the PDC and the BDO. Last year the spoils went to the BDO in Scott Waits. This year I think it's going to be really hard for him to retain his title. 5-4 to four, Phil Taylor, you don't see him against many times and he really is great value at 5-4. to four. I can't see anybody beating him on these big TV stages. He's head to heads against anybody who's far superior. He's setting the shot up, taking them doubles out and he's high scoring and he's leg on leg pressure that he has on his opponent. I don't think he can be beaten. But there are other players that are really coming in some form. James Wade for one. If he turns up in the right frame of mind, he will be a force to be reckoned with. Gary Anderson, Adrian Lewis, with their scoring powers, you have to take them into the equation. And the big Dutchman, Raymond van Barneveld, there are signs that he's coming back to some of his best darts. So there are a few players that are going to be in the mix come the finals. The format for this event, eight groups, four players in each event, they will play each other once. And there is some tough groups. Group D, for instance, it really is a tough one. That's the group of death for me. You've got James Wade, Terry Jenkins, Chisnell and Justin Pipe. Chisnell won a tour event the weekend on the Sunday, Justin Pipe won it on the Saturday, and it really is a tough group. I can't see really someone walking away with this group. I'm going to go for James Wade to win it, but I'm going to go Dave Chisnell to come runner up. But it wouldn't surprise me if Justin Pipe upset that. I don't think Terry Jenkins is playing well enough to do anything in this group, but you never know with the ball. Well, the odds for the group of death, James Wade at 13 to 8. I think that's great value. And also Dave Chisnell, 5 to 2. And as I said, Justin Pipe at 4 to 1, he could be in the mix as well. Well, Group B for me, possibly the easiest group for Raymond Van Barneveld that he could have had. Dean Wynn Stanley, Ted Anke and Ian White. I think he should win that group uh, easily. And 8 to 13, that's very good odds for the big Dutchman. Group E is another great group for me. Phil the Power Taylor takes on Mervyn King. Steve Bean and James Hubbard, the youth champion that's come through, he made the final of the World Youth World Championships at the weekend. So that will be a baptism of fire in that group. I can't see Phil Taylor being beaten, and I think Mervyn King will come runner-up in that group. Group H is another good group. We have the world champion Adrian Lewis at 10 to 11 to win that group. Now, as a world champion, that has got to be great odds. He's up against the two Dutchmen, Vincent van der Voort and Co Stompy. And the fourth one in there, Martin Phillips, an old campaigner. I remember Martin from way back in the early 90s. I don't think he's going to do any good in this group, but I fancy Lewis to win this with Van der Voort coming runner-up. 10-11, to 11, I think that's a great bet as well. well. I'm just going to run you through who I think will win the groups. Group A, I think Michael Van Gerwen, he is the outsider in that group. I tip him for Group A. Group B, Raymond Van Barneveld, I think he's a sure bet for that group. Group C, Gary Anderson with his scoring power. I can't see him being beaten. Group D, James Wade, if he turns up in the right frame of mind, it's going to be a tough cookie. Group E, Phil Taylor, you've got to go with the power. And Group F, Wes Newton, he's been playing exceedingly well this year, but he's got Paul Nicholson, but I still fancy Newton head that group. Group G, Mark Webster, another one, had a nine data not long ago, and I think he'll win that group. And the last group is Adrian Lewis, the current world champion. I fancy him to head that one. Well, I've picked out three matches where I think they're going to be crackers. The first one, James Wade against Dave Chisnell. As I said, when James Wade turns up on form, he's very hard to beat. But he's playing an exceptional scorer of that treble 20 in Dave Chisnell. Won a tour event last week, and he really is going to be a tough cookie. I think James Wade will get over it and then win the group. The next one is Vincent van der Voort against Co Stompy, the two Dutchmen. Stompy playing very well at the moment, but Vincent van der Voort, I think his extra scoring power are going to get him past him, but it is a tough one. Well, the last game I've picked out is Phil the Power Taylor against James Hubbard, the youngster that come through to make the final of the Youth World Championships. This is going to be a baptism of fire for this young man in front of a big crowd against the best player that ever lived. I think Phil Taylor will win comfortably, but I'd just like to see this young man up against him in these big crowds. All the odds will be on the WilliamHill.com website, and tickets are still available from the 12th to the 20th of November, and you find the box office on 0870 320 7000.